Don't forget the Dracula family had lived in this castle for thousands and thousands of years. It's almost paid for. <laughs> My great-great-grandfather built this edifice with his own spit and blood. Well, maybe not his own blood. <laughs> but still, the Dracula family has its roots in Transylvania. It's a tradition and nothing, but nothing could ever make me leave. He's starting to break through the gates. Well, so much for tradition. <laughs> Pack the coffin. We're getting out of here. Quick, quick. Goodbye, Transylvania. Here's blood in your eye. <laughs> Lo siento, senora. All the radiators are shut off. Thank you, Mario. My husband will appreciate it. He likes it cold. <laughs> By the way, what? I wouldn't let that boy go out in this neighborhood looking so neat. Instead of wearing that penguin suit, he'll be wearing his birthday suit. <laughs> Maybe he's right, Sonny. We'll get you some American clothes. Oh, that's what I want, too. Designer jeans. Mina, you know how your father feels about women in pants. But all the kids at school wear jeans. I'm the only one in a shroud. <laughs> Please, Mother, talk to Father. I have a chance to go to a rock concert this weekend. All right, Nina. I'll try. Thanks, Mother. What are you sewing? It's a surprise for your father. Saturday is our anniversary. I expect a big night. Imagine, your father and I have been married 618 years. <laughs> I can remember the wedding like it was yesterday. It was beautiful. Wasn't it, Gregor? Yes, and it was catered by Lepinski of Budapest. <laughs> oh, that parrot can rap. Oh. Well, tonight, you should see the weirdos that ride the subway. <laughs> Strange kids with paint cans. They sprayed it everywhere. <laughs> she goes 119th Street. I know her. <laughs> Hello, Minna. Sweetheart. Can I go to a rock concert this weekend? No, I don't want you listening to American music. But it's the Grateful Dead. Hmm. <laughs> Our kind of people. Can I can go? I'll think about it. You look exhausted. How did things go at work at the hospital? <coughs> Fine. Fine. Sonny! What did I tell you about watching TV? Hmm? I'm cheap, Pop. I am not a Pop. A Pop is a noise. <laughs> not a person. He's picking up bad habits from bad TV. But, Father... No buts. No TV. Besides, you should be studying your vampire rituals and chants. You're almost 11 years old, and soon you'll be old enough to be a vampire. But, Father... I'm not sure I want to be a vampire. 
Do my ears deceive me? <laughs> he was upset, Vladimir. My great-great-grandfather was a vampire. My father was a vampire. I am a vampire. And Sonny is going to be a vampire. Yes, yes, of course he is. It's just that, well, it's a new country. Sonny wants to fit in with his friends, do whatever they do. How come I can't be a vampire? Because you're a girl, and only the men in the family can be a vampire. I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe we should go back to Transylvania, huh? Everything will be all right, Vladimir. Come in, it's time to get ready for school. I don't think Father remembers your anniversary. Oh, he has other things on his mind, but don't worry. I have been studying these American women and how they get their husbands to do things. They drop hints. <laughs> Vladimir, here is a hint. <laughs> It's our anniversary on Saturday, and I want to go out and celebrate. Are you crazy? You were just out last century. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, I can't afford it. Your cousin Anton forgot to mention how expensive everything is in America. Then why do they call it the land of the free? I don't know, except that land of the loan may have kept away the huddled masses. <laughs> I will not be put off. It's our 618th anniversary. 618? Really? Ah, and your mother said it wouldn't last. <laughs> she may still be right if you don't take me out. I didn't move to America so I could sit in my room. It's not going to be like our vacation in Spain when you made me miss the Inquisition. <laughs> you really like to hold on to things, don't you, Sonia? <laughs> Probably expect a present, too. Gregor, what does one give for a 618th anniversary? Lax. <laughs> Lax. $27.80 a pound. <laughs> Promise me you won't tell Sonia what I'm going to tell you. I kept your secret about Hilda de Haan, didn't I? Shh. I told you never to mention her name. I'd almost forgotten her. She had great blood. <laughs> she was the one woman Red Cross. <laughs> Look, the sun. It's coming up. Let's call it a day. So what were you going to tell me? I was let go from the hospital about a week ago. I've been out every night looking for work. Nothing. Let go? For what reason? Well, let's just say I was caught making an unauthorized transfusion. <laughs> you can get plasma here. I don't like American fast food. <laughs> I fixed up the coffin, sweetheart. I even changed the dirt. <laughs> Vladimir, are we going out? I told you I can't afford it. Fine. Then you can sleep with Gregor. Sonia, please. It's not the same. <laughs> well, I guess it's you and me, Gregor. <laughs> I'm not too thrilled about that. Sleep with me, Gregor. We'll keep each other cold. Get a load of this guy. He looks like death warmed over. I heard that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Give me five. Five what? <laughs> Far out. A fun they do. Say, uh, you here to dig the sounds, brother? I don't understand. You're not my brother. <laughs> but if I'm not mistaken, that is my cousin. Say, hey, dig it, bro. I really love your cape. It is too much. Is it? Maybe I'll have it shortened. <laughs> Are you driving, man? What are you on? Hey, just tell me where you got them vines, Daddy. Look, I am not your brother. I am not your daddy. <laughs> Please, leave me alone. Come on, bro, let me.
me try on the cage. It'll look hot on me. It's a smoker. Look, I'll give you my brim. I don't know if this is some kind of American tradition, but I don't want your brim. Well, how about the shoes, then, my man? Look, I'll make it a package deal. The hat and the kicks for the cake. Look, for the last time, I'm not interested. Please, go away. Look, I don't want to have to lean on you, baby. Feel spoiled. Let me try on the cake. <laughs> you like my cake, huh? Step over there, please. I want to show you my line. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> What's happening, my man? It's old Davy. It's moi, Count Dracula. Can you dig it? Count Dracula? Sonia's old man? Right on, bro. Let me dig you. Been over five or six hundred years since I've seen you. Over here. All right, my main man. Dig you catch later. Hey, man, what are you doing in America? I decided to dig the scene, bro. Bro? When did you start talking like that? Oh, that. I just stopped off for a little bite. Dig. <laughs> man, you gotta be very careful who you bite, especially here in the village. Mm. Look, Drac, you mind cooling it with that vampire shtick? What? I haven't told anyone that I'm, you know, that way. Oh. <laughs> Closet vampire. <laughs> Are you ashamed of your roots, man? <laughs> no, man, I just don't want to make any waves. <laughs> hey, look, what can I do for you? I need money to take out Sonia. What an anniversary. Good, <laughs> hmm. this wearing off. <laughs> Anton, please. If I don't take out Sonia, she'll know I lost my job. Oh, yeah. Well, you got something worth any money? The only thing I have of any value is my violin. There's your answer. You hock it, and you use the money to take Sonia out. Hock it? But, but I couldn't. How would it look? I'm a count. Hey, this is America. Being a count don't count. <laughs> well, I hate to part with it, but I don't see that I have any choice. Thank you for your help, Anton. Hey, any time, any time. You must step over the house sometime. We'll split a pint. <laughs> Would you care for a cocktail before your meal? Mm, a glass of champagne. Champagne? Sonia, you know that's not good for you. It makes you silly. It's a celebration, Vladimir. Don't spoil it for me. And the gentleman? Water. <laughs> a waiter will be right with you. I'm glad we came, Vladimir. Admit it, aren't you? I think we should get out of here. The children may need us. Gregor is watching them. Yes, but who's watching Gregor? <laughs> Why can't you be more romantic, Vladimir? This is the most wonderful anniversary I ever had. I don't think I'll ever forget it. That makes two of us. <laughs> Care to see a menu? No. We know exactly what we want. The same meal we had at our first anniversary. We start with four ounces of caviar. Oh. <laughs> good. And for an entree, some chicken. And how would you like your chicken cooked? Oh. Cooked? <laughs> yes, you may have it broiled, sautéed, or baked. You mean they're dead? <laughs> Yes, of course they're dead. They've also been plucked. You mean you serve a dead plucked chicken? Well, the chef also does a wonderful thing with uh, chicken and garlic. Garlic? Well, that's outrageous. 
American cuisine has a long way to go. Vladimir, control yourself. We order something different. We serve a wonderful steak. Please, don't mention that word. It gives me a pain. <laughs> Do you have any lamb? Yes. Also dead? <laughs> yes, that's right. What kind of a restaurant is this? It's an insult. I won't stand for it. Please, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassed? I'll tell you who should be embarrassed. The chef. Dead chicken. <laughs> I'm sorry, but royalty or not, your behavior is bothering the other customers. Why should that bother them when the food you serve doesn't? Vladimir, please don't make a scene, Doctor. Quiet, woman. I demand to see the idiot who serves a dead chicken. <laughs> Come out. All right, Vladimir, I hope you're happy. You've ruined the evening for me. You've ruined everything for me. I want you to know there'll be no tip. <laughs> Sonia, please, you're making me dizzy. Oh, where could it be, Gregor? It's almost sunrise. I can already hear the garbage man. <laughs> be all right, Mother. Don't worry. Maybe he's in the subway getting painted again. <laughs> I shouldn't have yelled at him. I'm so worried. I... What? Me? Father! We were worried. Oh. There's nothing to worry about, sweetheart. Hurry, children. Get ready for school. I'm sorry the way I conducted myself. I... Didn't mean to ruin your dinner. Happy anniversary, Sonia. Lots. <laughs> Half a pound. It's all I could afford. It's not much, I know, but... I... It's the nicest anniversary gift I ever got. I know. <laughs> Wait, I have a present for you. Don't you like it? I made it myself. It's a case for violin. It's beautiful. <laughs> See if it fits. Get the violin. I have a confession, Sonia. I sold the violin. What is this? I lost my job and I sold the violin to pay for the meal tonight. So that's why you behaved so badly. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to embarrass you. I'm a failure. No, Vladimir, you're not a failure. You're a wonderful person. I'm having trouble finding work. Oh, don't worry. This is America. Something will turn up. And in the meantime, we'll all help. We'll manage. That's what's so wonderful about this new country. There will be other opportunities. And in the meantime, we have each other, Vladimir. Sonia. Sonia, you're too much. Oh, that's a little Americanese I picked up. <laughs> oh, you can learn new things, even American. I suppose so. But they do have one advantage here. The delis are open 24 hours. <laughs> and you know how I love tongues. <laughs> At eight, Julie is pursued by Captain Stubing's lecherous uncle. Then the captain's look-alike brother catches love fever and goes on a romantic binge. Enjoy special back-to-back -back episodes of The Love Boat tomorrow night. And it's off to Fantasy Island where a truck driver is marooned on a desert island with a Hollywood sex goddess. Sunday morning, Kids Are People 2 begins a new season at an earlier time, 10 o'clock. Join Michael Young and his great guest Sunday. And now stay tuned for Killer Grizzly, the Friday night movie. Come along, R2. Don't be so silly. You can't possibly be getting whooping cough. Droids don't get diseases like whooping cough or measles or polio. But children do. If a young child gets whooping cough, it can lead to pneumonia, brain damage, even death. All you need is a little rewiring. But children need to be fully immunized. And alas, so many are not. 
Oh, right, R2. I'll ask them. Parents of Earth, are your children fully immunized against childhood diseases? Call your doctor or local health department and find out. Immunize your children, please. And may the force be with you. Send for the Parent's Guide to Childhood Immunization. It's yours free. Write Immunization, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009.